This one's for all the women in bad relationships who keep on hanging on to them. The toilet seat. I honestly believe women have an innate nature to want to fix things that cannot be fixed. And it may sound far-fetched, but to help explain what I mean exactly, I'm going to provide this analogy. Now, in my house, there is a toilet, as there is in most houses. Now, the thing about this toilet upstairs is that it doesn't have a toilet seat. Why, you ask? Not because it's been affected by any great disaster. Neither did it implode after I sat on it after depositing one of my mum's pastors. Neither was it forced out of action after one of my cousin's legendary transactions. Nope. It's, it's just broken. And no matter however or whatever you replace it with, it's just going to eventually break again. No idea why. And now my mum, she spends a lot of time away and she knows of this toilet seat and she knows how we spend most of the nights feeling the cold of the toilet bowl. But almost every single time she pays me a visit, she insists that we must fix it. And this frustrates me to no end. Why are you going to fix it if you know it's just going to break again? Is there really a resolution in this temporary solution or a woman just content with the illusion and i say women because not only my mom but my sister moved in for a couple of weeks and do you know how many seats we bought during that time free and every time i would say no she would continue to plea and my grandma moved in and it was exactly the same my older sister my girlfriend would do nothing but complain and every time i would resist they would insist and i would say why are you going to fix it if it's just going to break again and their response is it, it doesn't, doesn't look, look nice, nice like, like, that. That. like that. At least, At least it will look good when other people, people see it. See it. it, it, it just makes me feel more comfortable. comfortable. How, How can you not have a toilet, toilet seat? seat? And after all this, just so they would leave me alone, I will take a trip down to Ikea, Wilkinson or Morrison and buy a new one. Just to keep up the appearance. Now... One day, a couple of months ago, I finally found the courage to confront my mum. After requesting that I buy another seat for the third time during her most recent trip, I said, Mum, I'm not buying another goddamn seat and that's it. And she pulled me to the side. And you know what she said? She said, Sully, you see this seat here? I've tried everything to fix it. I've bought the wooden seats, I've bought the plastic seats, I've bought the metal seats, I've even bought the see-through seats with the little fishes inside it, and none of them have stuck. And you know what I did? I even called a plumber in here one day. And the plumber said, he told me that the shape of the bowl of the toilet had become so worn over the years that no other seat would ever fit on it. And the only conclusion would be to remove the seat in its entirety and buy a new one from scratch. And Sully, you know why I don't do that? Because over the years, I've come to realize that no matter what you do, no matter what seat you attach to it, Sully, it's a toilet. And it will always just be full of shit. Women I can vow. I never find a time to say all the things that I should say. So I know it's my fault. You keep on pushing me away. I got nobody to blame for myself. And it's a damn shame. Cause I could do with some help. Cause I keep falling.